So here's hoping that this new video card will help the crazy M4700 become sane again. Hello and welcome to My Man The Maker computer channel. Today I got a component that I think will help repair the crazy M4700 laptop. Let's hope it's the right thing. It is a replacement video card. So let's have a look at what's inside the package. There's a replacement card. This is a AMD video card. Part number is 109-C56351-00. Upon further research, I discovered that the 109-C56351-0002 is an OEM HP EliteBook 8770W FirePro 4001 gig video card from AMD. So functionally speaking, it's pretty much equivalent to what was in the machine already. And I even noticed that the two cards are being cross-sold against each other as drop-in replacements. And the hope is that this will bring the crazy 4700 back to life. They were kind enough to also include some thermal paste, although not a lot, to put on the surface of the GPU. So the next thing to do is to put this box away and go after what's in this box. Now this box holds the bits and pieces of the crazy M4700. We have the base plate. We have the surround for the keyboard. We have the internal fan, one of them. We have the DVD ROM. We have the hard drive, which is a magnetic media one terabyte drive. We have the battery. We have a keyboard. Here's the old video card, which we need to tag. But I think you can tell the difference between the two because uh, this one, I believe, is uh, cosmetically different. So, but with the heatsink on it, we can determine that this is the old one for now until we bring the new one into service. Got a bunch of screws, power cord, and power supply. We have the internal, I don't know what you call it, it's, it's actually the what where your hands go on the uh, uh, laptop. And then the case. So we'll just get rid of this big box and we'll get to work. Open up the case, which is hard to do because it's not very heavy anymore. There we go. And there's the spot, the uh, internal case, or the, you could say the case internals. The new video card is going to go right there, and I guess the first thing we're going to do is. Install the new video card uh, beginning or begin the process by taking the old card off of the heatsink. So we're going to just get started with that. So, job one is going to be to take the heatsink off the old card and uh, put that tag that card as suspicious so we can then move the new card into service. So, let's 
go about doing that. The screws on the heat sink are spring loaded and also they're what you would call a captured screw so they don't come off. You just unscrew them. until they uh, turn freely and then you'll know that they're disengaged. And there goes the heat sink from the card. Now the reason why I said the card might be easy to distinguish between the two is I noticed with the new card there's a red border on the card right there. I don't know exactly what the purpose of that border is but it looks pretty permanent. So let's just make sure that the part numbers are the same. So the old card is a 109C42251-1 a little bit of a, a heat sink compound on there dash 00A that part corresponds to a Dell Precision M4000 series OEM AMD FirePro 4000 1 gigabyte video card. The part number under Dell is 3YF07. And the new one is a 109C56351002. The 109C56351-002 is an OEM HP EliteBook 8770W FirePro 4001 gig video card from AMD. So they're not exactly the same card, but hopefully they have the same specification. So here's what the new card looks like, and here's what the old card looks like. So I'm going to clean up the old card. I don't want heat sink compound everywhere including on my fingers and then we'll install the new card and put some heat sink compound on it. installed we can now go ahead and install the bezel. So here's a little tour of what's in, installed on this uh, back plane here. We have the touchpad controls with the connector here. We have a speaker with the connector here. This is the lights that show the various illumination um, and status of the machine but they are duplicated on the side of the machine and the only connector that we need to connect is this one which is the power switch. So we're going to connect that and upside down and then just use it to turn the machine on and off. Next we install the keyboard. The keyboard has a ribbon connector that installs here and it just slips in. So we'll install that. installed and the power switch connected the only thing that's left to connect are the is the power supply which we just connect to the back and then we can try a test boot on this machine now that
that the keyboard's been installed in the machine and the video card, it's time to install the fan. With the fans installed, it's time to try a boot, but to be safe, I'm just going to put a paper towel underneath the keyboard to isolate it. That way, if I need to press any keys, I can do so without shorting. This configuration also allows me to check the temperature of the video card and to see whether or not the fans will spin when I turn on the machine. Okay, well, let's plug this thing in and see what happens. light went on for a second there, over here, that's a good sign. And now we're going to hit the power button and see if we get anything interesting. Well, looks like this didn't fix the problem, whatever the problem may be. So my guess is that the daughter card video card may not be the source of the problem. The source of the problem may be the video card that's integrated with the motherboard of the M4700 Precision laptop. So that means that I'm in the market for a new motherboard. Oh goody. Well, at least they're not that expensive and I think I can probably pick one up on eBay. So stay tuned. I am committed to getting this machine up and running no matter what it takes and I have a certain budget to do it. I'm still well within my budget considering the fact that the replacement video card cost $10. So if you like this video please like, please subscribe, and please comment. I really enjoy comments and I find them encouraging. And remember if I can do this you can do it too. That's the point of these videos and I hope you like this one. So until next time take care and keep making.